All right, we are doing page 58 in our Grammar Boost book. Please get there um, on that page with me. If you need to pause this video to do that, you may do that. Um, it is right after this page that we did on Tuesday. Okay, so right after that page that we did, it is called Give It a Date. So it says write a sentence about each of the pictures using today's date. So if you already did January calendar, you know what today's date is. January 7th, 2021. I almost said 2020. Boys and girls, I'm still stuck in 2020. Um, it's hard for me to make that transition. I keep saying 2020, but it is 2021 now. And we are going to write a sentence using January 7th, 2021. So it says write a sentence about each picture. So what is this person doing here? Actually, it's a dog, I think. What is he doing? Let's see. Looks like he's going to play basketball. So we could write something like, he will, w it, oh, that's a sight word too. Play, that's a sight word also. Basketball, and Mrs. Burnett knows how to spell basketball, so I'll help you out with this one. If you know how to spell it, you can do it on your own. Basket. Ball. He will play basketball on January seven, comma, two thousand twenty one. Period. I made sure I put my period at the end. My first letter of the sentence is always capital, so it has a capital letter. He will play basketball on January 7th, 2021, period. We always have a comma in between the day and the year to separate them, because if you put the 7 and the 2021 together, it would look like 72,021. We don't want it to look like that. We want it to look like a date. All right, let's look at this next one. It looks like maybe she is on a phone. She has a phone in her hand. Um, we could say, let's see. January, we could start it with the date. January 7th, comma, 2021 is the day she got a phone. Maybe this is her first phone, period. January 7th, 2021 is the day she got a phone. Cool. So we put the date, it's capital. The dates are always capital, just like up here. The first letter of that. And it's the first letter of a sentence, so it's capital. January 7th, comma, 2021 is the day she got a phone. I bet she's excited. Maybe it's even an exclamation point at the end. If she's excited about it. All right, now this next part. I'm going to read this story to you, and you're going to draw a picture while I read it. Okay, so I'm going to read the story, and you're going to draw a picture that tells what this story is talking about. It shows what the story is talking about. Okay, ready? I'm going to read it three times so you have time to draw your picture. Okay? When you, when you think about what you want to draw, I want you to think about it in your head before you start drawing it, okay? A boy named Caleb was looking for his old mule. Caleb asked some people he saw by the farm if they saw it. Who knows what a mule is? 
Hmm. If you don't know what a mule is, it might be kind of hard to draw a picture, right? A mule is a donkey. So it kind of looks like a horse, okay? We have not seen a thing here, said the people. He asked a girl jumping rope if she saw it. I saw it a while ago, she replied. I can show you where. Oh, so the little girl's gonna take Caleb to show him where the donkey is, where the mule is. She took Caleb to the lake. That cute old mule was there drinking water. How did it get there? How did it get here? Wondered, wondered the Caleb. We need to take the out. Wondered Caleb. He grabbed the mule's rope and walked him home. So boys and girls, you can decide what you want your picture to look like. Maybe you want your picture to um, have Caleb looking for his mule. Maybe you want your picture to have Caleb and the little girl that was jumping rope find the mule at the lake. Maybe your picture is Caleb getting the mule and walking him home. Okay, I'm going to read it two more times and you're going to start drawing. Ready? A boy named Caleb was looking for his old mule. Caleb asked some people he saw by the farm if they saw it. We have not seen a thing here, said the people. He asked a girl jumping rope if she saw it. I saw it a while ago, she replied. I can show you where. She took Caleb to the lake. That cute old mule was there drinking water. How did it get here, wondered Caleb. He grabbed the mule's rope and walked him home. All right, last time reading it. Here we go. A boy named Caleb was looking for his old mule. Caleb asked some people he saw by the farm if they saw it. We have not seen a thing here, said the people. He asked a girl jumping rope if she saw it. I saw it a while ago, she replied. I can show you where. She took Caleb to the lake. That cute old mule was there drinking water. How did it get here? Wondered Caleb. He grabbed the mule's rope and walked him home. Okay, so after you get done with drawing your picture about this story, you're going to go through and find each of these words and either use a highlighter to highlight the word up here. So a go. Um, a go, let's see if I can find it really quick so I can check. So you would either highlight that word or you would circle it if you don't have a highlighter. You'll find the word boy and girl and how, all those words, and circle them or highlight them.